On this tutorial for Team Yankee, I'm going to talk about declaring your target. All right, we're going to move on to the next part of the shooting step. So we've gone through where you check the range, check line of sight. So we've done that. Now we're going to declare our targets. So we've got this scenario here. Here's the convenience store. And behind it, we have this Abrams, this one here here and this one over there and these t-72s are wanting to shoot at the Abrams so what you can do is you can just say they're all shooting at this tank you can do that if they can see it but this one can't or you can individually say this one's shooting here this one's shooting there this one shoot or you can say these two are shooting here you can kind of mix it up basically who is each tank or infantry team or aircraft, it doesn't matter, who's ever firing, who are they firing at? Which specific target are they shooting at? So looking at this, this one, these two can shoot at this one or that one. They can't see that one. So who do they shoot at? Well, they want to shoot at the easiest target because remember, shots can get allocated over as long as it's a valid target. So this, these two are a valid target for these two. They're probably both going to want to shoot at this target because it's out in the open. This one, eh, it's out in the open here, but probably concealed from this one. So that's a little harder to hit. It wants to shoot here. Or this one go, I'll shoot here and there. You know, however you want to do it. This one can shoot over here or there. Which one does this one want to shoot at? And this one, of course, uh, can only really see this one, so he'll probably shoot at that one. And then you would take your dice and roll for each of them. And what I do is sometimes I'll go red, white, blue. But since these two are shooting at the same target, I'm going to say, I'm going to do two reds for them. Because it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do red, white, blue. Because this may be a concealed shot, so it's a little harder. So you roll, set them up, and this is how the hits got, how they got done. Okay, so. That's it on declaring your target. And the same with aircraft. Who do they want to shoot at and so forth. So if there's two aircraft, do they want to shoot at the same target? Or does this one want to shoot at a different target and this one at a different target? Now a couple other things is, let's say this one. It can shoot its main gun or machine guns. And it's got two, well, this one has two. This would be a better example. This one's got two machine guns. Can it shoot these two machine guns or it could shoot its main gun? Now, of course, if it's a tank, it's going to want to shoot its main gun at that. But what if it's some infantry out here? Or maybe a Shilka. So it's got these two machine guns. So do you want to shoot at this or that or split up? You can't split it up. Even though it has multiple weapons, they have to target the same thing. So these two machine guns can say, I'm going to target this one, or I'm going to target that one, or this one, or that. So you can't split up its gun. Now, this situation, this one can say, I'm shooting at this infantry starting here. This is my target. This one can say, this is my target with the machine guns. Or I'm going to do machine guns here, and I'm going to shoot the main gun there. So that's declaring your target. One other rule I will go over, and this has to do with aircraft. So whether strike aircraft or helicopters, this is one of those rules that can be forgotten. So what we got here is we got some infantry. I'm not worried about the infantry, but we got a T-72 here in this Abrams. And we're just going to say, these Heinz want to take out that Abrams. They can't. There is a rule called too, too close or safe distance. If a friendly team is within two inches of what you're trying to shoot, you cannot shoot at it with aircraft. Now, men down here, it doesn't care. It's aircraft. So because they go, ooh, this is just too dangerous for my hit our own teammate or ally. 
So just keep that in mind. That is one of those rules that while you're playing, you may forget that now infantry can't go within two inches, so it doesn't matter, but tanks can go within two inches of each other. If what you're trying to shoot is within two inches of one of your allies, you cannot target that with aircraft. 